Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review. I'm here today to talk about Black History Month. The month that is a celebration of my people. Because I am a black man and everything. And it's about all our accomplishments. Um, all the oppression that we have gone through over like centuries um, of living in like America and stuff like that. And even till this day, we are still being oppressed. And so I'm here today to talk to you about certain characters or TV shows or episodes that revolve around Black History Month that I personally enjoy. So I'm here today to talk to you about Amelia Parker Season 1 Episode 10, Joy. I could not believe how emotional this episode was. Like, it took me for a shock. It was so emotional, so dramatic, like... I got choked up. Like, you can't watch this episode and not get choked up or have a tear come out your eye or, like, shedding tears or, like, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how emotional and groundbreaking this episode was. And it came as a huge shock because, you know, the other episodes that came before it were a whole more, like, lighter and stuff. And I knew that... The family members, the um, Parker family members, were upset over the passing of Joy. But, you know, you see them go about their everyday lives, and when they do think about it, they look sad. But, my God, like, you, like, this was just, like, wow, you know what I'm saying? And, like, we get some more reveals, and we get in huge, huge reveal as to why Amelia is so afraid to talk now. And it, man, could you, I could not imagine being a young person and going through this stuff, you know? It's like no wonder she is traumatized and stuff. Like, I, I we found out last time she was traumatized because she was in the car when the mom had the wreck. But when we hear why, when she explains it, it is just heartbreaking and stuff. And so, like, in this episode, there are two storylines going on. One storyline is Amelia trying to learn how to talk, um, or to persuade herself to talk. And the other one is like Nate and Victoria getting a driver's license uh, lesson. And so like with Amelia, she like keeps telling her mom in the video chat thing, like, you know, um, that she's recording, um, how like, you know, the therapist she talks to is helping out, but it's just, it's hard because, like, her therapist now um, thinks it's time for her to start talking. She doesn't want to. Like, you know, she's just not ready. But everybody keeps trying to persuade her to talk, like, everybody and stuff. And every time she tries to, she, like, just can't do it. She freezes up. She tenses up. And she tries different methods of trying to talk. She tries to talk to like one of her friends um, in person. She can't do that. She tries calling one of her friends. She can't do that. She tries calling somebody she knows. That doesn't help. She tries to like, you know, ask like um, a person that works at a store, like ask for like um, something like a drink she wants. That doesn't work. Like every time she tries, just even like a slight bit, her mouth will move, but nothing's coming out. Or she'll just freeze, tense up, and just, like, run off and stuff. And so, like, you go about thinking, okay, you want her to talk, you want her to talk, you want her to talk. And it's like, she'll read words, open her mouth, but nothing will come out. And so, throughout this episode, it's, it's one of those happy, fluffy episodes, just like every other one is, you know? Like, she imagines inside her head, like, you know, how she's going to talk to somebody when she wants that, like, smoothie drink thing. And so, like, she's thinking, oh, man, it's going to be, like, the greatest experience of my life. Everybody's going to be, like, cheering me on. And then when she tries, clams up and runs out like she just can't do it. And so her two friends don't really help because, you know, Daclan's Daclan and the other dude... He's just like Mr. Motormouth and stuff. 
And so, like, she's feeling pressured. And she's feeling pressured from her parents. And she's feeling pressured from, like, the therapist. And so, like, now, of course, we know she talks to, like, her mom and, like, the camera. But one thing I've never, well, one thing I've been wondering for the longest time is, where exactly is she uploading, like, these videos um, to and for who? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this doesn't, like, it, they never explain it. It's just we always see her talking into the camera, recording herself. And I'm thinking to myself, is she doing it for herself? Or, like, what's going on? And so, like, this is finally now explained. So, she gets really, really, really upset. And she grabs, like, her recording device. And she's all like, why does everybody want me to talk? And, you know, she just wants people to, like, leave her alone because she's just not ready. And she gets, like, so emotional. And I think she throws her recording device down. And she just clams up in the bed, like, really, really, really upset. Well, while this is going on, Nate and Victoria, they're going on driver's license, um, license. Oh, lesson. My bad, I'm tired, I'm yawning. My bad, my bad, my bad. So anyway, they're trying to learn how to drive to get their license. I couldn't even get my words out. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so, like, you know, they ate their tests and everything. He's goofing around, he's picking on Victoria. And so, like... You know, so then she starts to drive in the car, and um, is it Rod? Yeah, Roger. He helps them how to drive, so she does a pretty good job. And now it's Nate's turn. He's already he's all excited, but then something happens. He freezes and almost in like a catatonic state. So he's in this like catatonic type like state in there thing, and he cannot budge. He's not moving his hands. He's not moving his feet off the pedal. He's just staring, like in a very distraught kind of way. And he's just staring. And we know by how long he's staring at absolutely nothing, something is wrong with him. And Roger can tell. He's all like, you know, he's just okay. Just take your foot off the pedal. But for whatever reason, he's not budging. So... After Amelia got like really upset and threw her recording device down, it uploaded on her mom's cloud. That's who she's been sending these videos to. Her mom's like cloud. Kind of like hoping her mom can see her down from heaven and like, I guess like watch the videos or something like that. Well, it alerts her dad on the phone. And so he goes into his ex-wife's like account. I don't understand. If she recorded all these messages then why hasn't it alerted him before? So he goes in there and he starts watching old videos of him and his wife goofing around. Um, every time it's like one of the kids' birthdays or a special event, them baking a cake, them just goofing around having a good time. So he's happy, he's enjoying himself. You know, he's reminiscing on the good times. And then he scrolls and he sees a bunch of videos of Amelia. And for some bizarre reason, she's wearing the same shirt in every video. I don't understand why they just didn't change her clothes up. I mean, she literally records every day. So that's kind of weird and a little air on that part. But anyways, um, I digress. <laughs> so, like, he's weirded out by this. And so he starts watching videos. And as he's watching the videos, he's smiling because he's like, uh, he's kind of like, oh my God, you know, my daughter's talking in these videos and he had no idea. She's been literally uploading videos every day, all day to like her mom's cloud. But then he watches the last video. And as right before he watches the last video, he is starting to get emotional. But then he watches that last video and how upset his daughter is. He cannot hold it in, and a tear slowly falls out his eye. While this is going on, it's simultaneously going from him to Nate to Amelia. Amelia can hear her voice through, um, while she's upstairs, and she realizes, oh crap, my dad is watching my videos. So she runs out, and she goes to like find him. And Nate has finally like reanimated himself if you will 
he cannot hold it in. He is crying profusely. And what got him upset is, of course, his mom died in a car accident. And now he's in the car about to learn how to drive and he just can't handle it. All he can do is think about is her. Now, one of the things that upset her dad is in the video, she says, why do people want her to talk? Because when she does, it just causes problems and everything. And she reveals in a video, she is the one who distracted her mom when her mom was driving. She was in the back seat and she said she doesn't remember what she was saying, but if she was being goofy and silly and her mom kept taking her eyes off the road and looking at her and talking with her and goofing around back with her. And then you hear the car screech and she gets in that accident. She has been blaming herself for years, thinking if only she would have never talked to her mom while she was in the car, this would have never happened. And at that very moment when she watches her dad cry, she finally talks. She only says two words and she says it underneath her breath. She tells him she is sorry. He runs to her, they embrace each other, they hug as they're crying. I could not believe that. Like, I just couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I saw the wreck in a prior episode, and I knew she was turning around looking at somebody, and I figured Amelia was in the car. But I didn't know Amelia was the one who blamed herself for talking to This is why it's very crucial for people to pay attention when they're driving and not play on their cell phones. You have no idea how sick and tired I am of seeing people on their cell phones, texting, talking. It's like pay attention to the road. This can happen in real life, you know? And so, like... Because when it comes to this show, it's just a nice family show. It's about like this version or this show, the spinoff is just about like a little girl going through the motions and like every time she tries to do something, it like backfires. But she's for the most part, she's just a normal girl. But she's a normal girl who is traumatized and now we know why. I could just, I, I still can't believe that. But then... A happy moment happens towards the end. They're all, um, the whole family sitting around, they're talking. The mom gets a call. Remember, they're like a step family and stuff. They're like an interracial blended family. She gets a call from the doctor. She's pregnant. So now they're finna introduce a new baby into the show. Which, normally I hate when they introduce a baby into the show because the show kinds of get ruined other shows get ruined because of that but since this is an interracial family and they're not going to make something together i'm okay with that so um they're trying to pick out names for the baby and they can't and then so now amelia she still won't talk out loud because it still hurts too much but she is willing to talk to her father, but only if she whispers in his ear, which reminds me of Raj from the Big Bang Theory. But yeah, I couldn't believe they went for such a like sad, dramatic like finale. I hope this gets renewed because this will be really more interesting to explore how she's going to deal with this. And I hope they kind of go more hard into it. Because for the most part, this show is um, very lighthearted, um, it's very pleasant, but it lacks kind of like edge, um, it lacks kind of um, um, stakes, I guess you could say. Cause, not so much stakes, because not an action or drama, but it's kind of like, okay, I want to see more interaction between the family and the differences, because one is white, one is black, and they, don't, they both act differently. So I kind of want to see more of that. I want to see more misunderstandings. 
I want to see some tension. That's what I'm thinking. That stakes, but tension. I want to see more like tension in this show. And it's brief. Like I don't want. I don't have to see it every episode, but it'll be nice to see a bit more. And so I'm about to go watch the Parker Anderson show because I'm kind of curious to know what happens with that. And also, I want to see more like um racial education in this show um they did it very brief in like two episodes um i thought there would have been at least more than that uh especially how they had to bring on a black writer to like you know um help them out with that and stuff so i don't know about the parker anderson show but when it comes to the amelia show it's kind of like the first one was really good about like black awareness um the the Parker Anderson show uh, was good in that one. Actually, tell you the truth, there's only been one Black Awareness like type episode in the Amelia Parker show. I thought there would have been more. Um, so I don't know about the Parker Anderson one, but the Amelia one only had like one. And so I kind of assumed when I first started watching the show and after reading what it was about, I assumed they were going to be doing that a whole lot more in the show, but they never did. Um... But all in all, I say it's a very pleasant show. Kids will love this show. Teens, adults, no matter what age you are, like it's a really pleasant, really good show. It just it needs a bit more intense um, stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it needs to stop ending everything on such a good note because once something tense does happen and some stuff backfire, it always like gets wrapped up in a nice little bow um, towards the end and stuff. But you know, all in all, like I said, it's a pretty good show. I kind of, I kind of really wish this show was on a basic cable network show like ABC, NBC, CBS, something like that, instead of a streaming site that nobody has ever heard of and stuff. So I, I only know of it because like I watch another show on it. But a lot of people have never heard of this streaming site, and you know, and it's a Canadian show. You know, it's a Canadian show, and it's filmed in Canadian, um, Canada, and they say it's a Canadian show. The setting is that of Chicago, America. So I don't understand that. Wouldn't it have been more better just to set it in like Canada? <laughs> Happy Black History Month, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.